Today we're chatting with Calgary Stampeders long snapper Randy Chevrier and it turns out that long snappers are made not born and Randy I'm curious what makes a good long snapper? Ryan, tons of practice and being very comfortable seeing the world upside down. You know, aside from being the best long snapper in the league, like I said, you know, I think he uh, he fills out his football pants pretty well too, and that helps me concentrate. Now, obviously, in Randy's profession, accuracy is key. But Randy, could you hit this target right here? Sure can. That seems simple enough, but what about a little trickier target, Randy? You think you're pretty good, huh, Randy? What about hitting something a little thinner? Sure, you're accurate, Randy, but how's your distance? Accuracy and distance are one thing, Randy, but can you hit a moving target? Randy. All right, Chevy, how about a little half court off the backboard, nothing but net? Chevrier's skills go beyond the football field. In fact, they come in quite useful here at home. Honey, where's the bread? Oh, too high. In all seriousness, Randy, you do have a pretty important job. What's the toughest part of being a long snapper? I would have to say having to be 100% all the time. If you're a quarterback, you can be an all-star at 75%, a kicker, an all-star at 80%. If you're a snapper and you're only 99% accurate, you could be out of a job. Well, thanks for this, Randy. It's been a great day. We've learned all about the position of long snapper and just how hard it really is. It's time to clean up here at the Chevrier household. For Global News, I'm Ryan Leslie. <laughs>